Hi, McMaster. My name is Alicia Ali, and I'm running to be your next MSU president. Great. My favorite thing about the MSU is definitely the opportunities available to students. I think we all come to university for an education, first and foremost, but there's not a lot outside of that. The MSU provides students with so many opportunities and it gives students a chance to work uh, in areas that they absolutely love. So imagine getting paid to do something that you love. Um, for instance, we have Matt Green, which is an environmental service, uh, promotes sustainability on campus, but you could get paid to do something that you're absolutely passionate about. The MSU reaches out to all students on campus to ensure that they're getting the services they need and providing them with opportunities that they couldn't get elsewhere. Um, there are three things that make me different. Um, I'm going to focus on them. Um, that's my experience, my passion, and my dedication. Uh, I have had the opportunity to see this organization from every perspective. I started off in my first year as an unengaged student, not really interested in anything but my academics. I then proceeded to start an MSU club, um, get involved with clubs, and then I ran for the Student Representative Assembly. So I've had the opportunity to represent social science students from a political perspective. Beyond that, I'm currently the USA Campus Coordinator, so I actually work for the services of the organization. So not only have I been on the SRA, um, not only have I worked in the services, but I've also seen it from the unengaged student perspective. So my experience um, provides me with a very unique perspective. In addition to that, I'm passionate. I'm passionate about student-led initiatives. I had the opportunity to do Clay and Horizons, which are two leadership conferences run by the MSU. And it's absolutely incredible to me um, the way students come together to make the lives of other students better. Um, and the last part of that is dedication. I'm dedicated to the MSU, and not just the MSU as an organization, but to student life and to ensuring that students are always at the center of our initiatives. About connecting the dots. Um, if you haven't already seen my posters around campus, they're bright and they're yellow and they say connect the dots. Connect the dots means connecting all different parts of campus life. I see the MSU as being an equal partner on this campus, but I think it's about time that we start partnering with other organizations. I'm talking about the Inter-Residence Council, I'm talking about residence life, I'm talking about faculty societies. If we all start working together and create this cohesive unit, when we are trying to fight the university on an issue, we become that much more legitimate and stronger in our approach. I want to do this through three ways, um, and I call them the three ups. We're talking about upholding, uplifting, and upgrading. Upholding means upholding the accountability of the organization. Students pay hundreds of dollars to this organization every year. It's their right to know where their money is going and how it's being used. Uplifting means helping students to reach their highest potential. I see the MSU as a support network to create this network of student leaders on campus. And most importantly, upgrading. Instead of coming in here every year and providing something brand new, it's about time we start working with what we have and upgrading our current structures to ensure that the services we are providing are of benefit to students. point that I have right now that's the most important to me is the mentorship program. Welcome Week is only designed for a certain type of student. It doesn't appeal to everyone on this campus. And I think it's really important that the MSU start taking a leadership role and reaching out to incoming and first year students um, because that's a base that I think is largely untapped. The mentorship program uh, provides incoming first year students with a point of contact at McMaster University before they even hit campus. So in the summer, students will be provided with the opportunity to have a mentor. Um, then prior to that, the MSU will make an open call for mentors throughout all faculties. This mentorship program isn't designed to replace existing mentorship programs on this campus. What it's really meant to do is enhance and provide an alternative. Um, these mentors will act as social, academic, and emotional support for students, and will also reach out to those unengaged, those untapped individuals on campus who may not pursue a leadership role within the organization. Another part of that is continuity. Um, this was mentioned in the State of the Union address, but continuity is going to be a huge part of the MSU next year. So ensuring that last year's vision isn't lost, continuing with it, but also providing my own direction for the organization. Number one, a 
approachable. Um, the type of candidate that I want to be, the type of president that I want to be, and the type of person that I am is someone who's always approachable. Uh, the individual, if you have a problem, you can come to. If you have a concern, you can come to. Someone who's always very open to people. Um, the next part is being as assertive as, as possible. Um, I think it's really important that as student leaders um, and just as individuals, we don't, we're not taken for granted. So this is something that I would like to bring into my presidency is my assertive leadership style. Um, approachability, assertivity, um, and most definitely um, trust. I think trust is a huge part of this equation. Uh, a lot of my friends would uh, probably label me as uh, relatively trustworthy, I would hope. Um, but that's also something that I would like to bring to this role as someone that you can trust. And I think uh, being able to trust uh, your student leaders or a student union president is really important being able to put that faith in them uh, in terms of carrying out on the carrying through with their promises um, and electing them to this position. Cool. If I was an animal, um, I'm definitely this is a tough one. Um, I'm gonna have to go with Pac Man. Mm -hmm. um, why Pac-Man, you might ask? Well, if you haven't already noticed, my color is yellow. Uh, Pac-Man is clearly the most incredible color of yellow. Oh, like, he goes around like this, like, eating, like, ghosts, like, most awesome animal. Well, I'd like to thank Mac TV for allowing me the opportunity to share my views and my platform with students, um, but most importantly, the students. Um, I think presidential elections are a really important time of year, and it's really a chance for students to engage and to decide what they want to see in their leadership next year. So I'd like to encourage everyone to get out there and vote on February 2nd and 3rd, and help me as a candidate to connect the dots on this campus. <laughs>